You know what drives me absolutely nuts? Things you can't repair. Ding, ding, a ring, a ding, 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 wedding bell soon. We'll ring a ding. Guys, it's Greg Olo Productions here with the Sony model 8FC 45W. So, uh, I said earlier here, um, I said that, oh, you know, it drives me nuts, things you can't repair. Well, that may be a stretch. I don't know, Greg just might, may or may not have the proper tool for the job here. Now, I don't generally work on clock radios. I can I do work on electric clocks, but uh, not a clock radio generally. And I ended up inheriting this thing, so I didn't buy it. And no, all the parts aren't missing. It ha I have been messing with it here. I've got parts and pieces of it here. It does have all the knobs and everything. It's just partially disassembled here. Anyway, so what did I? Why did I say that? Well, in a previous video, I said. In the sometimes in the 50s and to the 60s onward, basically, uh, electric clocks, uh, not so much, well, yeah, mechanical too here, they were getting less and less repairable. And generally, when a clock stops running or whatever happens, either a part could be broken or it might just need a cleaning and then relubricating, which if you're going to clean it, you need to fully disassemble the clock. And sometimes you can't do that because the way the clock is assembled sometimes. And that was what I was talking about with my West Clock Orb video. You couldn't take everything apart. Well, this may or may not be the same case. I don't know. And uh, first things first, before we look at the back of this, I actually want to ask you guys a question. See if anyone knows. Would there be a dial light in this? Because there's white plastic here. And... It looks like the dial could very much light up, but uh, it doesn't light up, so I don't know what's going on here. And as you can see, the clock is running smoothly right now. The whole reason we're doing this video, viewers, just on a side note, is that this thing started making a, a grinding noise. And generally, when electric clocks make a grinding noise, they need lubrication. So I thought, okay... Well, obviously, this thing needs lubrication, then. Or, it could use a full service, but with the way some of these things are assembled, I may not be able to dismantle it and clean it, so I may just have to lubricate it and do nothing else. Now that I've left it down here in the basement for a week, not running, it was running when I was... when I came to that uh, thesis there, or the conclusion there. Now it doesn't make that grind no grinding noise anymore. But let's just say it does, because... You can't just keep a clock like this going and going and going and going and expect it to never need anything. This isn't a quartz clock where you change the battery once a year. Now, these things may not need servicing often, but they do need it after a while. It does ha it d they do need it. It needs to happen at some point, whether it's sooner or later. Now, as you can see, I've been messing with this thing already. I took the back off, and I took the knobs off, and I... <laughs> As I drop the knobs everywhere, I took them off. Took the uh, cha the radio chassis support washers off the bottom of this. Okay. Okay, and then you get the back off and everything, and you look inside, and it's like, well, this is a total rat's nest in here. This is a total rat's nest. How am I ever going to get this radio out of the cabinet? Well, let me try and show you, and this is where my problem is. Well... If you look here, okay, here's the radio chassis. Actually, I'm gonna get the other screwdriver. Well, if you look, here's the radio chassis. Or, well, this whole thing is the radio chassis, technically. But this is actually the radio itself over here. This is all radio. You go over to the other side of the cabinet. Yeah, I don't know what this thing is supposed to be. It might be some sort of power transformer or something. And you got the clock movement over here. And these two big black cords, the, I, they go over here somewhere. I think that might be a dialite. I can't really see what's on the end of those cords, but uh, is there a knob on the end of that? Just, no, there's no knob. I'm just checking on the other side if there's a knob. There's no knob. I think there might be a dialite in this thing. 
Even th even though nobody um, has said anything about dialites in this, I think there might be. So anyway, okay, well, there's the clock, there's the radio. Okay, let's get this whole thing out of the cabinet. Okay, how do I do that? There's, a, there's supposed to be a screw there. I already took it out way back in there. Right there. And okay, well, there's a screw on the other side here too. Let's take that out. Uh-oh, viewers. Uh-oh. Sony decided to put a speaker right in the way here. So I can't get in here with a screwdriver like this and get a good, gr like, look, I'm, I can't, I can't make the, the driver, I can't make the screwdriver straight. I can't straight put it in there. I'm gonna, don't take what I'm saying out of context, you viewers. You can't just put it in here. You gotta get around the speaker. And I'm, and I'm looking here, I'm like, how do you take this, how do you move this speaker here? Cause this thing is blocking my path. I don't know how Sony did this. They must have put this. They must have put this in here first, and then put this in after. I don't know how they intended anyone to get in here. I have heard of uh, flexible screwdrivers, but uh, I don't know where in the heck you get that. I went to uh, a auto parts store near me looking for a flexible screwdriver. I think there was something along the line. I don't know, I'll have to look again. Anyway, maybe there's some other alternate option here to get in here. I don't know what what's going on here with this. Because, as I said, there's this in the way. This is this screwdriver, or this screw is back there. And I can't get to it. I don't know, viewers. What do you recommend on this one? I know the uh, clock movement here. This is, bol uh, this is um, bolted in. Or not bolted in. Is that the correct term? There's nuts holding this uh, movement together, like most clocks, actually, mechanical and electric. I see there's rivets here. There's, riv there's a rivet down there, too. I don't know if those are just one-sided rivets or if they're like that on both sides. Because usually with uh, higher quality mechanical clocks or, or something along those lines, or at least with West Clock, anyway, the uh, mechanical clocks have a rivet on one side, and then they've got the screw, and then you can... How do I describe it? Basically, there it's like this. It's riveted on one side, and then it's um, got the nuts on the other, so you can take them apart. And I've actually got an example of that right over here. And yes, we are still waiting on the ammonia here, viewers. We're still waiting on the ammonia to come in. To, or at, at least to uh, get it because of the pandemic going around, but anyway... See, there's a rivet here, and then you got the, your screws, or you can, you get your screw holes on the other side. So, that's how this is. So, I don't know if those rivets are riveted together on both sides, or just one side. Anyway, I can see the rotor there. I know, viewers, I'm going off on a tangent here. Basically, problem is, I can't get in here. I can't get to this screw. And if I get an answer to this, if anyone can figure it out, I will do a series on this clock. Sony clock radio from 67 or whatever it is. Yeah, this is a total rat's nest in here. And I will mention the chassis is kind of flexible right now because there's no... And I can't just pull it out, unfortunately. Why? Well, I, I could just pull it out if I could get to that screw. Man, oh man, viewers. Just doesn't end. Let's also make sure there isn't any other screws in here, shall we? Oh, I don't see any. I don't see any, no. And plus, this thing seems fairly loose. I think that's the last screw. Let's just pull it out and strip it. Yeah, that's a genius idea. No, that's all I got for you right now, guys. So anyway, viewers, if anyone can figure that out, that'd be great. Uh, I know we're still waiting on the ammonia for the clock cleaning solution. It'll happen here at some point. Just give me some time. I'll, I'll get it together. Do a video on that clean mechanical clocks and away we go so i know it's kind of a slow start but anyway uh yeah figured i'd do this in the meantime while i wait so anyway viewers i thank you for watching this video and i hope you tune into the next one of my great videos